Hey everyone and welcome back to another Bicyc Toasting server tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to go over how to install shaders on Minecraft. Before we get started, Minecraft Java is required to install shaders. Minecraft also must be launched once to ensure all files are installed. This guide is also for Minecraft version 1.16.5 and above. If you want this for older versions, I will have a video linked to our Optifine guide in the description. We will first go over how to install it on Minecraft Vanilla, then on Fabric and Quilt, and finally on Forge and NeoForge. First, from the irisshaders.dev website, we're going to download the Universal Jar. We will then launch that file that downloaded, and under the Select Game Version, we're going to select the desired version we have for our Minecraft. Then under the Installation Type, we're going to select Iris Install. Once done, we can click the Install button. Next, we want to download the desired shader that matches the Minecraft version. These can be downloaded from websites like CurseForge or ModRenth. Once that's done, we can launch Minecraft. And from the Play tab, we're going to choose the Iris and Sodium with the version that you're using. We can then click the Play button. If a pop-up comes up, just check the checkbox and choose Play. Then from the main menu, we're going to choose Options, then Video Settings, then we're going to open the Shader Packs tab. We will then open the Shader Packs folder, and the downloaded shader we downloaded earlier, we're going to move into this folder. Once we've done so, we can return to Minecraft and choose the desired shader and press Apply. If you not see the shader, just try going back to the main menu and coming back to this setting. We will now go over how to install shaders for Minecraft Fabric or Quilt. First, we need to download Iris and Sodium from the respective websites. I will have these linked in the description for you to easily go to. Once done, we need to navigate to the Minecraft installation directory. This will be different for everybody, and launchers like CurseForge and ModRenth will have different installation directories for each Minecraft instance. In this directory, we need to go to the Mods folder. Then we need to move those Iris and Sodium files into the Minecraft Mods folder. Once done so, we are going to download a desired shader with the matching Minecraft version from websites like CurseForge or ModRenth. Once done so, we can open Minecraft. And from the main menu, we're going to choose Options, then Video Settings, then Shader Packs, and then we're going to click the Open Shaders Pack folder. We will then drag the downloaded shader into this folder. We can then return to Minecraft and choose the shader and click Apply to apply the shader. If you do not see the shader listed, just go back to the main menu and go back into the Shaders tab. We will now go over how to install shaders on Minecraft Forge or NeoForge. First, we need to download Oculus and Rubidium. I will have these links in the description for you to easily download. Once done so, we need to navigate to our Minecraft installation directory. This is going to be different for everyone, and launchers like CurseForge and ModRenth will have different installation directories for each Minecraft instance. In here, we need to open the Mods folder, and then we're going to move over that Oculus and Rubidium mods over into the Mods folder. Once done so, we can download a desired shader with the matching Minecraft versions from websites like CurseForge or ModRenth. Once downloaded, we can then open Minecraft, and from the main menu, we're going to click Options, then Video Settings, then Shader Packs, and then we're going to open the Shader Pack folder button. Then we are going to move the downloaded shader that we downloaded earlier into this shader folder. Once done so, we can return to Minecraft, choose the shader, and press Apply. If you do not see this shader listed, you can just go back to the main menu and go back to the Shaders tab to then see it and click Apply. If you have any questions, check out our knowledge base, bisecthosting.com KB, or you can submit a support ticket on our website. If this guide was helpful, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe for more content like this, comment down below which guide you would like to see next, and we'll see you around.